This is breaking news, which comes from naturalnews.com. This article came out yesterday. Today is the 11th of March, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And March is also named after Mars, which is the Roman god of war. And what do you see Esau Edom doing? Well, he's declaring war on truth on all fronts. Unrighteous decree after unrighteous decree after unrighteous decree. Let's get a quick precept. This is Isaiah 32 and 7. And it reads, and this is in the Amplified Bible. As for the rogue, his weapons are evil. He conceives wicked plans to ruin the poor with lies. Even when the plea of the needy one is just and right. Before I get started with this lesson, loads where you find it edifying and informative. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, or Rachakwadash. Double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders and the other bishops of Great Millstone as well. Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the whole for the elect, the men, women, and children listening and learning. For the servants of prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and a hearty shalom to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, given diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, shalom. So, this is Brother Ashamath back at you with another lesson. Our Lord's will, I pray it's edifying and informative. And this lesson reaches the ears of the whole for the elect. I don't wrath all that's Lord willing. And this lesson is going to go into a few different articles. The main one which I just found on naturalnews.com about 15 minutes ago, sparked the spirit um, to ultimately go into this topic. And this is one of the several unrighteous decrees that Esau Edom had, has issued in these past you know, 10 days or so, going into what this month is. This month is named after the Roman god of war. You know, Mar Mars. And what do you see Esau Edom doing? Well, he's issuing unrighteous decree after unrighteous decree after unrighteous decree because the Lord's putting the spirit on him to do so, to fulfill prophecy, to issue, to usher in the family of the word, to forward this thing into Jacob's trouble. And these things have to happen. This is all prophecy, including, you know, um, other things that are being brewed up. The implementation of merging man with machine and making it cool and making it hip the promotion phase the mot to the b you know uh the united states looking to withdraw from nato you know the the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people being marched across our border well that's setting the stage for martial law that's setting the stage for total anarchy you know to issue forth unrighteous decrees and lock cities down. These are all things that are talked about and, 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 and prophesied in the Holy Scriptures. Let's get this first. Thought police snitches. State Bill 5427 in Washington. This is in Washington State, where I'm from. Offers $2,000 reward to residents who report neighbors guilty of wrong speak. And this is end time prophecy because what this is going to lead to is a bounty and a rewards program for anybody who turns in the prophets anybody who is against you know the servants and prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai anybody who knows the whereabouts of the prophets you know anybody who um, is looking to get money on their MOT to the B this is setting the stage for that Daniel 7 and 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And the spirit of Harvey Halbashim Al Shai, you know, this man Esau Edom, he's in overdrive, man. The scriptures say um, in Revelation 12 and 12 that he will do these things because he knoweth that he hath but the short time. And I won't make this long. Just want to hit these points real quick while they're hot and um, wrap it on up through the spirit. This is Revelation 12 and 12. And it reads, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, Esau, Edom, and the wicked elite, is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's why these unrighteous decrees are being issued forth. What's going on in Germany? Well, what's going on in Germany? Let's get it. Because I posted in the community tab, but let's read the header. German police raid homes of dozens of men accused of hurting feelings online. And this is something that's happening in Germany. What do you have happening in Ireland? Well, you have the government looking to arrest YouTubers and conspiracy theorists. What do you have going on in the UK? Them looking to outlaw and make illegal alternative media. What do you have going on in Canada? The same thing in the form of unrighteous decrees to come after anybody out there speaking truth. And this is all aimed at the servants and prophets of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, who are speaking truth at the highest level. And that's what's talked about right here. He shall think that change times and loss. And that's spiritual because what did you just have happen yesterday? Well, daylight savings time. You know, this man has changed times, you know, with this daylight savings and, you know, this Gregorian calendar and loss. You know, in the form of these unrighteous decrees they are being issued forth. Now let's go into Daniel 8 and 25, which is talking about Antiochus Epiphanes, but you can compare that and uh, you can basically do a comparison of that to what's being done in these last days because it's the same nation of people. The Greeks became the Romans and the Romans are still here calling themselves Germans, calling themselves Italians calling themselves British. No, you're the biblical Edomites, man. And the scriptures say in the last days, the wicked shall be revealed. And he will wage war against the woman and against the remnant of her seed, talking about the elect. And that's being waged out in the month of March at a very high level. When, when, you, when you go into Esau, Edom and his wicked plots and plans, a lot of his schemes are done between the months of March, which is the, the month of war. And the month of May, which is the birthday of the Illuminati, first, uh, May 1st, 1776. Daniel 8 and 25, and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Talking about Antiochus Epiphanes, Antiochus Epiphanes. And what happened during the Greek Empire? Well, you couldn't profess yourself to be an Israelite. If you were caught with the scrolls, you were put to death, they're lynched. Lynching started in Greece. You couldn't uh, keep the high holy days. You were Hellenized. You were forced to keep the customs of the Greeks. Or if you were um, professing yourself to be an Israelite, you had to do it underground, you know, in caves and in a secret and whatnot. Well, the same thing is happening in these last days. Hellenization 2.0 under unrighteous decrees and under the uh, under the guise of peace and safety and under this technocracy that Esau Edom is looking to push forward in the, new, in the New World Order. Same nation of people doing the same thing all over again in a different time. Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. Talking about Antiochus Epiphanes. And by peace shall destroy many. And that's what's talked about in the book of 1 Maccabees. The first chapter on the 30th verse. You know, he sent uh, counselors to Jerusalem and spoke peaceable words, you know, you know, sent uh, treasures and whatnot. Let's just get it. I don't want to butcher it. First Maccabees. One and about 30. And it reads. Yeah. First Maccabees one and twenty nine. And after two years fully expired, the king sent his chief collector of tribute unto the cities of Judah. And came to Jerusalem with a great multitude and speak peaceable words unto them. But all was deceit. And that's what he's doing in these last days. Speaking peaceable words unto the people, but all is deceit. And when they had given him credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore and destroyed much people of Israel. And that's what Esau Edom did a few years ago with the Jews. And he destroyed a lot of his own people. You know? Because you have Israelites who look like the Edomites. You know, Israel is, 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 is the sand of the sea. Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, in his mind. And by peace shall destroy many. 
he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand, going into the fate of Antiochus Epiphanes. His guts rotted from the inside out, and his stink was so bad, his men didn't want to get next to him. And then eventually, yeah, he croaked and gave up the ghost. Let's go into this article, which came out yesterday, March 10th, 2024, the whole year of Jacob's trouble. Thought police snitches. State Bill 5427 in Washington State. Washington offers $2,000 rewards to residents who speak to slack it to residents who report neighbors guilty of wrong speak. Let's go into the first two paragraphs. The Washington State Legislature has passed a bill to create a statewide snitching infrastructure for residents to report their neighbors for wrong speak. And what did you have President Joe Biden say a couple years ago? He wanted people's family members to spy on them for radicalism and turn them into the federal government and report them. Well, you see that being issued forth through these unrighteous decrees and these reward programs. And this is only going to get more amped up and ramped up the closer we get to the MOTB being mandatory. And those numbers, as far as $2,000, those numbers are going to get higher. Especially when the unrighteous decrees that are in Canada come to the United States on a massive scale. These numbers are going to be 20000 50000 you know, 100000 so on and so forth. And you're going to see, you know, a lot of people's family members, you know, and, 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 and uh, friends, true colors. Just wait. State Bill 5427, which passed both the state and that's uh, ultimately why we say fuck the two thirds, man, especially by what happened a few days ago. You know. Them licking shots at the prophets and whatnot, looking to kill brothers. Well, this is only going to get more amped up and ramped up, especially if these things get pushed forth. The Senate Bill 5427, which passed both the state, the Senate and House in Washington state, now awaits Governor Jay Inley's signature, who's the governor of Washington, allows private individuals, including non-citizens and illegal aliens to report Bias incidents to the state attorney general's office. Each reporting incident comes with a potential reward payout of two thousand dollars. And there goes your uh, your 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 um, your government and citizen, you know, um, help program. There goes the hey, you know, um, you need money in your MOTB. Hey, well, we got the perfect reward system for you. You know those guys speaking in the corner. Yeah, there's a $10,000 bounty on for each one of them. You know where they're at? Think about it. It says the bill supporters say its purpose is to protect victims, peace and safety, of hate crimes before the crimes even occur. Sound familiar? What's being passed in Canada? The same thing. The same thing. And this is beautiful. <laughs> this is... Isaiah 33 and 6. Ezekiel 33 and 33. Matter of fact, that's the Spirit telling me to get Isaiah 33 and 6. And let's get Ezekiel 33 and 33. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, because we know these things have to happen. But we still got to prophesy them and give you warning. And strength is salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And also the fear of the Lord is his strong confidence, because we have victory. You know? Through Yahweh Shai. And faith in Yahweh Shai. This is Ezekiel 33 and 33. Ezekiel 33 and 33. And he reads. And when this cometh to pass. Lo will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Doing what? Giving warning. You know. Blowing the trumpet. Let's go into this article. Let's read this first. And it reads. Governor Christy Noem signs unconstitutional hate crime bill to stomp out criticism of the small hats. And this is uh, a thing that's been going on in other countries and other regions of the world as well. You know, the 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 hate crime bills and all these uh, unrighteous decrees to stop talk of the small hats because that's who's being exposed. You know, the scriptures say in the book of Sirach. To smite the 
heads of the rulers of the heathen. That's what's being done through this word going out. Swak 36 and 9, it reads, Swak 36 and 10, and it reads, Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen. They say that say there is none other but we, and that's Esau in his mentality. You know, through his tachronocracies that he's looking to push forth, he's looking to be like the Most High. But he's being exposed because the scripture saying, in the last days, the son of perdition, the wicked, will be revealed through who? Through the holy prophets. From what we can tell, let's get this third paragraph. The state supporters say its purpose is to protect the victims of hate crimes. Sound familiar? Before said crimes even occur. Sound familiar? You know, what's going on in South Dakota? Well, we just read as far as they headed that article. What's going on in the UK? What's going on in Canada? This is a worldwide push for ultimately um, truth to be silenced and the phantom of the word to be issued forth. And this is a decree by Yahweh Bashim Shai that he's using Esau Eden to push forth because the scriptures say that he, uh, he shall tell him himself, you know. Job 15 and 6, you know. Real quick, Psalms. 64 and 8 I believe that's another one of them yeah they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves by what by what by their actions Esau Edom and his actions and the way he moves in the earth shows that he's the wicked shows that he's the son of perdition shows that he's the vagabond the fugitive hiding from hiding from his nationality you know hiding from the report looking to try to hide from the report Trying to hide from judgment, you know, fleeing and trying to build these bunkers and hide in the clefts of the rocks. There's no running and there's no hiding from the judgment that sits and awaits you, man. All that see them shall flee away. Yeah, they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. You got Esau telling on Esau, you know, the, the, the Egyptians against the Egyptians. You got, you know, uh, truthers and, you know, whistleblowers and whatnot telling on you and your actions are speaking against you. You're telling yourself by what you're doing in the earth. The bill supporters say its purpose is to protect the victims of hate crimes before said crimes even occur. But at what cost? In essence, State Bill 5427 creates a tattletale hotline designed to intimidate people in Washington from speaking their minds. Especially when speech might be politically incorrect. This is Isaiah 32 and 7 in the KJV. The instruments also the churl are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor, the Hebrew Israelites, the prophets, with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. Am I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yes, we have. We, we, you know, we've been your enemy from the womb. But it's all good. These things have to play out. Isaiah 32 and 7, the Amplified Bible. And it reads, as for the rogue, what's the word rogue mean? Rogue. Scoundrel. That's what he is. A knave. Villain. Reprobate. That's exactly what Esau Edom is. He's a reprobate, man. You know, he's, uh, what is he, profane outside the temple. Rascal. Good for nothing. Son of a bitch. Pardon my Persian. You know? Nasty piece of work. Wow. <laughs> Nasty piece of work. Wow. Crook. Well, yeah, that's what he is. A thief. You know? And the scriptures say, um, the thief come not but to steal and to kill. That's what the Lord that's what the Lord said in the book of John ten and ten. And he was talking about Esau Edom, the so called white man. John ten and ten, the thief cometh not. But for to steal and to kill, and that's exactly how he got this land. Stealing, killing, raping, robbing, murdering, lying, deception, and to destroy. And I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And that's what the scripture that's what the scriptures do. They give you life. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, John 6 and 63. Now, let's get this. Isaiah 32 and 7. After the rogue, his weapons are evil, he conceives wicked plans. To ruin the poor with lies, even when the plea of the needy one is just and right. And the beast won't win, man. Let's go into this SB 5427. 
it infringes on one's right to confront its accuser, his accuser. It impedes on freedom of speech. It violates freedom of thought and imply right to the First Amendment, quote unquote. It steamrolls freedom of religion. It impairs freedom of the press. Yeah. So pretty much that's it. Uh, I don't want to make this too much longer. You know, as you see, these unrighteous decrees are being issued forth, which is prophecy. These things have to play out. We still got to give warning. And ultimately, Esau Edom is moving, man. You know, and standard, the standard is being loaded. You know, the standard is being prepared. That's the counter. You know, that's the right hand when Esau Edom comes in like a flood. That's that vicious right hand that's going to knock Esau Edom out, as well as the return of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievances which they are prescribed. And that's what is being issued forth because we're in the month of war. You know, that's what we are in, a spiritual warfare. Matter of fact, I think that's. Might be uh, 20. Uh, yeah. This is First Timothy 1 and 18. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy. The, uh, the Apostle Paul called Timothy his son in the faith. According to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou... By them mightest war a good warfare. And the Lord, he's a man of war. And that's who we are spiritually, you know, that army. The scriptures say, great fear fell upon them which saw that, that spiritual army. Revelation 11 and 12, and it reads, <clears throat> Revelation 11 and 11, and it reads, after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And that's what's being played out. That great fear falling upon Esau, Edom, by, you know, seeing the, the servants of prophets of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai speak this message of boldness, you know. So, I'm going to close on that right here. Uh, Lord, do you find this lesson edifying and informative and in closing? I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Radash. Double honors and to the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well. Shalom to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Shalom, Shalom. And until next time, next lesson, next live stream, Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Ba. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Shalom. <clears throat> Mm-mm-mm-mm. <clears throat>